Hello everyone, how is it going? So today what I got for you is a airdrop tutorial for Drift Protocol or Drift Dex on Solana. So let's just get right into it. So first what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some funds on Solana, right? Uh, you could either do this by just bridging over to Solana or tr um, transferring out of a centralized exchange and Personally, what I did is I threw in USDT on here. So I just deposited some USDT. That's pretty much it, just deposit. And let's uh, let's go over how to get uh, a lot of points here, how points work for Drift Protocol. So as you can see, they do have a points program right here. Um, as you can see, I generated 3,000 of volume for what? Two points, whatever. Like, I don't even know how I did that. I did that randomly. But I'm just gonna go over how to generate volume, how to actually get points for this. So let's just go over it real quick. So um, over here, you could see that 1.2, they distribute uh, 2 million points per week, right? And 1.2 million of those points go to uh, liquidity pool providers and 700,000 of those points go to takers. So perpetual traders or spot traders, right? And right now they are running an eight times point boost on BTC and ETH pairs for this week. And this was posted just an hour ago. So if you're watching this on the 12th of February, you still have four more days to grind out volume on those BTC and ETH pairs in order to get eight times the points. So let me show you how easy it is to do that. So once you deposit your funds, you're just gonna go to perpetuals right here. You have ETH pair and you have BTC pair. As you can see, shit is humping today but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a limit order here whatever uh the middle of the price is so i'm just going to put high leverage here so that we get a bigger position size um and eth and btc are both 20x leverage so just be mindful of that because um it it, it is risky trading on this obviously but here i'll show you how to make a a position real quick as you can see my fees were 91 cents there okay let's confirm our trade here there we go we placed our limit order I recommend doing limit orders instead of market orders because the spread it the spread isn't bad uh, the fees aren't roughly too bad for how big a positions we're making here so overall it's not too shabby on how positions are um but here let's see so okay the u the ui isn't isn't bad but it's a bit obviously this is still uh still relatively new so let's go 607 so we can confirm our order here boom All right, so making orders, oops, is gonna be the main way that we generate volume on here. And as you can see, this would generate roughly $4,000 worth of volume just off of this. And the fees will be like, I think $2 roughly. Yeah, roughly like $2. Uh, what you could also do is uh, you could lend or borrow your stuff. So these are my current deposits. Uh, that's just how much you deposit initially and you could borrow against that if you want and you get points per each of that per your deposits and uh, lending lending and borrowing that is honestly pretty much it for drift protocol all all i oh there are referrals too so if you have uh friends that are doing this or other wallets you could just use your own referral link i'll put my referral link down below and uh i mean yeah d the main thing is just we don't want to risk that much we want to minimize risk here while we are trading and uh generate enough volume and uh, that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys in the next video peace out if you have any questions though let me know in the comments i do respond to all of them